Hello everyone. Here today we have the EDU Science Lab, Experimentation Station, Chemical Reactions and Fluid Dynamics. It has 20 experiments and five lab tools and equipment. It has a lot of cool stuff, so we're going to open this guy up now. Let's see, here we go. Let's open this guy up here. Kid is playing with this stuff. We're making a video here. So let's pull this out. Pull it out. So here's everything that's inside of the EDU Science Lab 20 experiment experimentation set. Um, as you can see, it has these four uh, plastic baggies with uh, mixtures and plastic parts. Uh, these tubes and cylinders where you can put the fluids and the chemicals. But where are the fluids? The fluids, uh, you might have to probably mix some of these with water. And uh, you have more contraptions there I'm guessing a piece of the station here that's shaped like little hexagons this is probably the bottom base where it collects some of the excess fluid oh, one more thing I am one more thing we have this this uh, instruction manual that does come with the set and it shows you all the how to's on how to mix everything how to build the set and um, the proper quantities so on and so forth here are all the parts once you remove them out of the baggies as you can see you've got a lot of uh, plastic cylinders and beakers and flasks everything's well constructed hard plastic uh, you've got pumps and uh, valves and all sorts of things that regulate the flow of all the different uh, chemical fluids that you're gonna mix together and come now here is the completed experiment station uh, here is the sophisticated setup with the tubes and the valves and all the different containers they all have measurements on them and milliliters uh, we have a little extra, we have an extra flask, petri dish, uh, a, a dropper, uh, we have the base here, got these three mixtures here, this one right here which is uh, phenol red solution, you've got here calcium hydroxide, and you've got right here calcium chloride and then you've got pH test strips to test the uh, acidity in this experiment you actually need some baking soda uh, and I think for some of the other ones so make sure you have some baking soda some lime water uh, things of that nature water uh, because not every single uh, chemical or fluid that is required for these experiments is included in this kit so be aware of that uh, you know so kind of uh, glance through the book and see what what other kinds of uh, mixtures are required and you can do a simple grocery and buy them and have them in your fridge or whatnot so that way you can mix them if you decide to do some of these experiments so for this one we put a little bit of uh, baking soda here and uh, C4, they have it very neatly um, organized in the manual. Basically, these are containers one, two, three, four, and five. And then you have valves, valve one, valve two, valve three, and then you have the plunger. Uh, you know, so you could push air and you could, you could do uh, some of the experiments have uh, pressure, air, gas uh, reactions. So they're not all, you know, just chemical uh, based. And uh, and of course, some of the experiments don't even uh, utilize the station. They, you can actually mix them. They're simple little mixtures you can do, use 
uh, you can do using the flask, the beaker, or the petri dish and whatnot. So this one was pretty straightforward. Just fill the plunger with air, have some of the, um, the uh, phenol red solution uh, right in uh, container C3 and then have some baking soda in C4 and have some lime water in C5. And so once you push the air, it's gonna mix, it, uh, some of the uh, red's gonna mix, run through the tube and mix with the baking soda and then mix with the, with the lime water. So we're pushing down, we're mixing it slowly, already slowly. So you can see how it's, this, it's causing a um, reaction here when they're mixed. <laughs> this is full. So we just <clears throat> reversed the airflow. We, uh, we <laughs> pulled the plunger up, we pushed it down, and you'll notice that now the color of the... Is it gonna bubble? of the uh, lime water has just changed to yellow and it's bubbling up. So as you could see, when you push the plunger down, the phenol red mixes with the baking soda, but as you push it back up again, Oops. you get a reaction with the lime water and it starts turning yellow and bubbling up. So a lot of neat, interesting oh, no. effects Some can happen. Fell.